What's up everybody, welcome back to Jeep TV. Today we're gonna to be working on my two door JK and we're gonna be putting the grill that we just got done painting right there. So anyways, uh, we're gonna go and get this hood pop and we're gonna take a look at it and check it out. Taking a closer look at the Jeep grill I got, this is the Transformer x -Brite grill. Um, I think they go for like $100 or so on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. So if you guys like this, um, yeah, you can buy one too. So um, anyways, so the color itself, it's pretty daggum close. Um, there is a lot of, uh, you know, angles and stuff. And with this metallic color, it's actually fairly hard to paint metallic colors. I didn't know that, but there's a lot of tender love and care you have to give it. The only really tool you're going to need for this is going to be a flathead so that way you can pop up these uh, little pins. So what you do is you get here, pop it up, get these out, and then these actually come out as well. Very simple. And then you go along down the row getting all them out and we'll pop it forward. So along with this kit comes with a uh, like a rain gasket that goes across the the top of your um, grill. And it also comes with your little hook pins. These little hook pins go into the uh, front of the grill, so it can actually be inserted um, into the uh, Jeep uh, frame. As I'm filming, I have this in my lap because I don't want to sit on the ground or get it all messed up. So we're going to push them on here there we go. Get those on now what we're left with are these two screws so these two screws are actually going to go with this weather stripping it's going to go along the top and it's actually going to go in these little holes right here to uh, hold it down it also comes with a sticky backing adhesive strip that you pull off and to set it on there so it you know sticks down all right, so before you take your blinkers off or undo them, you're gonna wanna try to go ahead and get it unseated. So, you got it unseated. That's kind of too wobbly. Um, that way we have enough play down here to get these off. We do have these extra wires in here. So yeah, we're gonna unsnap it, tilt it down a little bit. Pull right out. Once you have both sides disconnected, having having both sides disconnected really helps because you can't get it off unless you do. So there we go. There's the old Jeep grill. And here's the two, you know, comparison. All right guys, so once you have your grill off, you're gonna wanna take your blinker lights out. So we're gonna flip it over, lay it down in the soft, nice grass. And we are going to want to get these pins out. So you can use your thumbs or pliers, whatever you wanna do. But an easy little hold and push will be fine. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to push in. Push in, fall right out. This is All right, so these little tabs mount up with a slit inside the, the frame here. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you just wanna go line it up. So it's sitting on there. Have you come out here to help daddy? No. You're not gonna help daddy? All right, so we've got the Jeep grill on. Um, all the little pegs are in place. Um, you know, these ones behind the uh, lights right here was a lot harder to get in. Um, this grill um, actually sits closer to the body of the Jeep, but as far as you know, mounting up, it doesn't mount up any different. Um, it is really snug, so we're about to. Um, do the next step is to go ahead and push this back and get these all these pins put in and then we'll do our gasket 
and then we'll close the hood and then check it out. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, we're almost done. We just gotta get these lights pressed in and then we'll be able to plug these in. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these set in here and plug them up. One in. That one went in. So the next thing to do is to plug it in. Lock it. All right, so now that we've got the uh, blinker lights in, uh, we've got our grill fastened down, we've got a rubber gasket on. I did not use the screws. The holes were not really matched up very well. Um, so yeah, we just kind of left it on here. I'm sure once this heats up and it's stuck on here, it should be fine. Um, it's gonna be pressed down by the hood anyway. So, but yeah, um, pretty much put our pins back in, gasket, everything it is done um, you could probably do this in less than an hour um, you know obviously the painting process was something that I did myself but if you were to get this professionally painted you're probably looking between um, 250 and 300 dollars to have it painted depending on where you go and who you know um, I did it myself it was a project I want to take upon myself um, and it's been a job so uh, this is a big undergoing um, to me, this looks great. Um, it does have a little bit of texture. It's not like a flat, smooth finish, but I mean, damn, you really can't get any better than that, um, especially doing it with a rattle can with the matching car paint. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and get this hood down and take a look at it. guys that's gonna do it for this video thanks for tuning in to Jeep TV if this is your first time here hit that like button uh, check out some other videos and hopefully you'll subscribe uh, for everyone who's already a subscriber thank you so much um, I got a lot more to come I got a Jeep bumper to put on the dirty turtle um, also we have Jeep Beach coming up I will be going to Jeep Beach I've already got my hotel and registered so um, I will be down there I do believe I'm gonna be driving the dirty turtle um, I gotta get it logoed up, I'm ready to go. I get to do that. So, anyways, there's my phone. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much. Peace out. Take care. Keep jeeping.